for 10 minutes get yourself some fresh air this is fresh air out here it is free um it's just crazy but it's just like um there's a lot of people just leaving like yo and they say it like if you do not want to stay in this country leave and i i get it a lot of us have basically built this country you have a lot of people that have built this country especially some of their family members have built this country <laughs> like if you look at it america would not been built without the use of slaves so it's just like can you say all of a sudden now you don't need me oh you done with me but we built this okay so you ain't even trying to get reparations so it's just like people always asking for reparations i was just like if you don't want to give me the money as you see these people do not want to give us this money and they're not going to give us the money so why should i continue to beg I am not begging for no money. I just want to be able to, if I decide to leave this country, I don't want to have to pay no taxes. I don't want to have to pay anything back into the United States because I'm no longer here. Yes, I want to keep my citizenship because, you know, it is what it is. I was born over in this piece. I do still have family here, but let's be honest. If you don't want us here, let us be we don't need to be paying if we want to make investments in other places let it be our money we don't need to be taxed on that money that's just like a lot of people say this and a lot of people say that but it's just like when you get out of those states they want to know what property you own how much money you generate but that ain't none of your business if this is not on your own country this is not on your own land and i was just like man and this is crazy it's just like this is just systematic and then okay you see it where all of a sudden, uh, African country goes well, and all of a sudden, oh, you doing too good. Let us create division amongst you. And I'm just like, wow, <sighs> you get tired of this. So my thing of it is, it's self-reflection time. It's time to look within yourself and to see why you're not happy or why are you happy. And if you're not happy, Figure out a way, figure out a way to get out of the situation that you're in. And if you can't get it out by your, get out by yourself, find somebody else that's already doing what they're doing that you would like to be doing and keep it moving because it's almost like it's crazy. Like it's 2020. It is 2020. Why do I have to, oh, excuse me. Um, why do I have to? be bombarded in the house like for real why do i have to be in the house why do i have to stay in the house just to be free and then you can't even be in your house anymore you see what happened with the old dude that was in his house chilling and the police officer just came in thinking that he was an intruder i'm like first off where's your warrant for second off where's the call that said that there was somebody that stole and then it's just like even if a person is stealing or anything like that that don't that doesn't necessarily mean i need to lose my life behind that foolishness it's materialistic um if, am i in am i causing you any danger no i'm not causing you any danger you're causing me danger this is what i think that need to really be happening is you know when people call and say oh a black person did it they need to be fine they need to be fined just like say for instance you go somewhere and you do something to somebody they find you they will find you if you break laws if you break this you break that people need to be fined when they're making false accusations towards the people because it's just like it's crazy like we don't go around saying oh a white man is entering my house oh a white man did this oh a white man did that it was a group of white boys that came and raped me really is this what's going on like for real